Hi gang, we're going to run through temperament quick today. This is the biological portion of your personality. This is what you were born with. Right now, any of y'all who are in your teen years or older, understand your temperament is only 10% of your personality right now. 90% of your personality is everything else that you've been through, everything else that you've experienced, but your temperament is always there. If you think of it as your initial gut reaction when you hear about change, that's your temperament. Not the dominant part of you, but your temperament. So we're gonna talk about temperament as described by Thomas and Chess. They described three kinds of children that they saw. And each child, there were two factors that they found. The first one was how does a child handle change? How do they react? What is their response? And then how predictable is the child in terms of being able to take care of their everyday needs in terms of timing, in terms of knowing what's gonna happen next, so predictability. So the first child they identified, easy child. This is a child that when it comes to change, handles the change, goes with the flow, no problem, no worries. If there's a change, okay, we're going into the next thing, no problem. An easy child is a dream in terms of predictability because you know when they're gonna to wanna to eat, what they're gonna to wanna to eat, how much they're gonna to wanna to eat. Are they gonna sleep? Yes. When are they gonna to go to sleep this time? You know everything about them because they're very, very predictable. Potty training is a dream because you know when they pee and poop, so that way you already know when to have them into the bathroom just a little bit before the regular pee and poop time. You know what I'm saying? It's a dream. So an easy child. That's one kind of child. Difficult child. This child does not handle change. In fact, they actively refuse it. They hate it. They will fight it tooth and nail. No, 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 no. This is a child who does not want to do it. Predictability, the only thing you can say about their predictability is you can't predict what's going to happen next. You have no idea when are they going to want to eat. Are they going to want to eat anything that you make? Chances are, no. Um, are they going to sleep today? Who knows? They could go and take a nap for a few minutes. They could go and take a nap for a few hours. You don't know. Um, that's why this child is a difficult child. It's not bad. It's just challenging because they fight change and because they're very unpredictable. Now, the last child is the slow to warm up child, kind of like that little girl, if you look over on the left, who looks very shy, but still is engaged. This is a slow to warm up child. They will adjust to change. You just need to give them time. You need to be patient. May need to wait two or three minutes, may need to wait, you know, half a day. Uh, this could be the person where you need to let them know two days in advance what's going to happen. And then when it, the change does come, they're like, okay, sure, no problem. Uh, they're predictable to an extent. I call these the rough idea children because you have a rough idea of when they're going to go to sleep and roughly how long they're going to be asleep. You have a rough idea when they're going to want to eat and roughly what they're going to want to eat. So you can make some predictions but there's a lot of leeway it's not as on the clock on the spot as an easy child so a slow to warm up child give them a few they'll get there and that's it for temperament uh by thomas and jess the biological portion of your personality and as it applies to you if you knew there was a big sudden change happening what is your initial gut response if your initial gut response is, eh, whatever, easy child. If your initial response is the, ah, oh, hell no, difficult child. If you're like a, okay, I'll be fine. You're a slow to warm up child. So thank you. Bye-bye.